Here in this video, I would like to talk about a method or a way how to recover iPhone WhatsApp deleted messages. And this can be really simple or really hard depending on some other factors and things. So let's just get started with this. First of all, you should go to your WhatsApp and of course, everything depends on what happened to your phone. I mean, if you simply bought a new one, you have to go from a backup or I mean, it just really depends on what your situation is. But in case you cannot find the text bubbles in the chats on WhatsApp, you have to make sure to go to the settings and verify that the iCloud backup exists. So you go to WhatsApp settings, then you click on chats and chat backup. If you can see that the backup has been created recently or whenever, then what you can do is to delete the entire WhatsApp app, then go to the App Store, re-download it and reinstall it again. And once you set it up, then you will be asked and prompted to um, like load or use the backup that has been created. Of course, you have to use the same Apple ID for this and also the same phone number. So you cannot move chats between like different phone numbers. It just doesn't work that way. You also must have enough space uh, on your iCloud as well as on the iPhone. So you need to have um, around two times uh, the space available in your iCloud and on your iPhone than at the actual size of your backup. This is like the common rule of thumb. And since uh, there is only one account to one phone number, it means that on your Apple ID, you may have stored multiple backups of multiple accounts. So you're gonna have to deal with that if you have multiple WhatsApp accounts. But uh, the bigger question is on what to do if you don't have uh, that backup. But before we get to that, I want to say that if you're new on this channel, on the Apple Fox channel, uh, the thing that I do here is that I make videos about Apple related topics. This is definitely not the first WhatsApp video and it's not gonna be the last, I hope. So if you want to stay updated and know what's going on, make sure to subscribe because it does help you, it does help me and let's continue with the video. The number one option on what to do in case you don't have a backup is to create one for future situations and future data losses. So um, what you can do is to go to the WhatsApp settings again, and you're going to be able to find it right there in the chats section, and you can see a chat backup. So if you cl click on it, you have two options to schedule backups on a daily, weekly or monthly basis or you can back up right now with all of the stuff that you have. So you manually click and start the backup. Both options are good, of course, but it's a lot better when you have it automatically scheduled so you don't have to worry about it. And you don't even have to include videos because they take a lot of space. And in case you don't have much free space available on, on iCloud or, or iPhone, then you don't need to include the, the videos or the large stuff. But if you don't have the backup and you would like to access some older uh, chats and older text bubbles, then uh, there are some options which may not work, but at least they are worth uh, giving a try. So uh, in case you have used or you remember that you have used the same WhatsApp account on a different phone on or on a different device, let's say it was an Android phone even like a half year ago, uh, you still have some data right there. And depending on if it was used or not, it may be updated on that, that device. So you can go on from there or you can simply go ahead and open a WhatsApp. And in case you see the messages there, you can go to the settings and export the chat. And it's kind of a nice thing, of course. So uh, in the settings and in the chats section, you can see the option export chat and you just click on the chat that you would want and it will ask you if you want to attach the media or not and it's going to create an exported zip file which can be shared using all of the methods like with email and pretty much anything that you would want but keep in mind that, that this exported chat cannot be imported to whatsapp so you want to turn these uh, things, uh, the text bubbles, text messages, uh, the information cannot be turned back to the text and to the chats in like within WhatsApp on another device. You can only have it as a document file, which you can refer to in case you want to see what was going on there and what the information there was, but you cannot put it right back into the WhatsApp chat section. But I guess that it's still better than nothing, right? 
And other than that, you can use some third party apps or like a software for data recovery mode, for example, Dr. Phone. But I mean, it, it may be a great app, but I do not think that you would be able to retrieve some WhatsApp messages from the past that have been deleted. But in case you have access to it, because it's a paid app, then you can go ahead and do so. I believe that there are some free options as well. So uh, it's worth trying out, like I say, but I do not see the really I mean, I don't think it's that realistic to expect that you're going to get the, the thing that you had before. I mean, yeah, it's kind of hard if you don't have that backup. You can use, for example, the AnyTrans software on your PC or Mac, which can be used as uh, like uh, the medium, because if you, for example, had an Android and WhatsApp installed on that device, you might back up to Google Drive, for example. And using any trends, you can get the backup from Google Drive and move it to your iPhone that you currently use. This may be one instance of uh, a solving of the problem, but I mean, it just depends on your situation and problem. So it's kind of hard for me to say, but these are all of the options. So for the future, make sure you have your backups ready and you should mostly rely on that because uh, it's kind of difficult to retrieve back the text or the messages from the WhatsApp. So I would say that this is pretty much everything what there is to know or what there is to say about it. I hope I didn't forget anything and mention all of the stuff I wanted. So if there is anything else, some other questions or things that you have to say, the comment section is the place to do so. And uh, yeah, leave a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe for more and see you guys later in the next video.